Hey guys, I'm Nick and on this episode of The Scram Line, I'm going to show you guys how to make these delicious strawberry milkshake cupcakes. Now, when I was little, my favorite flavor of milkshake was strawberry. I loved it. I don't know if you guys used to have Nesquik where you're from, but in Australia, I think they probably had it in America as well. It's probably American, but Nesquik was delicious. It was amazing. You were lucky if you had Nesquik. So when we did have Nesquik, my favorite one was strawberry and I decided to put Nesquik or strawberry Nesquik into this cupcake to make it taste just like my childhood. So these are the ingredients you're gonna to need to make it. Okay guys, so to make these strawberry milkshake cupcakes, start off by preheating your oven to 140 degrees Celsius. The ingredients you'll need are some baking powder, flour, salt, sugar, softened butter, strawberry Nesquik, vanilla extract, milk, yogurt, some Jaffa balls or something that looks round and red. I've got some freeze dried berries here or you can just use regular sprinkles, some eggs and chocolate sauce and you can find the recipe for that on my website scranline.com and that's also where you'll find this full recipe as well. So start off by popping all of your dry ingredients into your mixing bowl. Mix that on low speed using the paddle attachment and while that's mixing and aerating, you're going to add your eggs to your milk, your yogurt, vanilla extract, and I forgot to mention we're adding oil in this recipe as well. Add your strawberry Nesquik, give that a good whisk, and then you can go ahead and add a little bit of pink food dye if you like as well. Okay, so to your dry ingredients, add your softened butter and let that mix until it comes to a nice crumbly sand-like texture. Then you can go ahead and add your wet ingredients in a slow and steady stream until you've got them all in there. Stop the mixer, give it a scrape down and mix for a final 20 seconds. Okay, so I'm using a ice cream scoop to scoop my batter into my cupcake papers. And we wanna fill these up about three quarters of the way. Pop them in the oven for 30 minutes or until a skewer comes out nice and clean. So while those are baking and cooling down completely, you can go ahead and prepare your strawberry Nesquik buttercream frosting. Now you can grab the recipe for my fluffy buttercream frosting on my website, thescranline.com. So add your Nesquik to your buttercream frosting and give that a good whip with the paddle attachment until it's beautifully mixed in. Now I'm using a star nozzle to pipe my strawberry Nesquik frosting and I'm using a smaller star tip nozzle to pipe the little white bit on top of my cupcakes. So use an apple corer or a sharp knife to put a hole in the center of your cupcake and you're going to pour some strawberry jam in the center. Then you can pipe by starting in the center, holding your piping bag nice and straight and swirling around three times. Now pour some of that delicious chocolate sauce on top. Pipe a little mini swirl on top and then put that little cherry on top to finish off your cupcake. Okay guys, so that is my strawberry milkshake cupcake. I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe. If you did, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and share with your family and friends. There's a subscribe button up there somewhere. My last video is over there. Click on that to be taken to more deliciousness. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. We've just made it to 2,000 subscribers on the Scram Line, so thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers. I will see you guys on the next episode of the Scram Line.